Hello, Silver Grayscale here, getting back to more Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. And I figured I wanted to do one more video just to have a nice recording session in case I can't record for a couple of days. But here we have our next boss, the Big Golem. Um, don't fret if he doesn't drop his soul right off the bat. He, um, we're gonna meet him later on. That hand of his blocks everything that, that it touches and it hurts. Your best bet is if he starts to puking rocks, because then he can't attempt to punch you with his hand. And that's something you want. And we get a new ability, Soul Sliding. Also, there is something else in this room. This is a Tsuchinoko. Basically, the most annoying piece of shit enemy ever. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah. Um, he is a pain to deal with. Just a right sodding pain. He is based on a uh, cryptid. Okay, I killed him at least. Uh, his soul is super useful, however, it is one of the more rare souls in the game. Not only if he will give it up for you, but also if he wants to, well, even show up in his bloody room. But my best thing to tell you is don't bother with him. Um, like, if you want his soul to essentially use it, because I didn't say it was useful, then wait a bit until you have better weaponry so you can take him out in as few hits as possible. Because you have a short moment of time before he barrows underground and disappears. But now to the ability soul we got, we can slide. So that's going to be super useful. Uh, we can have another look see at uh, Cricking Skull. See if we can nab his soul perhaps. No, we cannot. Again, uh, there will be a longer video from us towards the end of the series when we run all over the castle and just go for souls. I can only imagine how much I will level from that, because souls will be rare. Uh, here we have another new enemy, Nemesis. A ghost girl holding a sword. The sword is a weak spot, not the uh, actual ghost body. Uh, we have a warp room, so now we found a warp room to the study, so that's going to be helpful for later on. Or, not the study, the, the ghost hall. The study actually doesn't have a warp room, the closest thing is, I believe, either the place below it, if I recall correctly, or it's just the chapel. Honestly, I'm leaning towards the chapel because I don't recall if the place under it had a warp place or not. But it's just a couple of rooms from the uh, place, so... Uh, I'm gonna use this just so I don't die because I don't want to do that. Alright, so before we do anything else, 
this is gonna be such a waste of time, but... Uh, it's a useful weapon. It's a useful weapon to grab, so might as well go and nab it. And no, grabbing more of the same soul doesn't power it up. It's not in this version. So, the Cuddle is a short sword made for stabbing. If the enemy doesn't die in one hit, it rapidly hurts the enemy, so it's to show you here. So it, it's useful if you can get in there, but again, the range is just all kinds of trash. It's the one thing I hate about the, um, the knife weapons. With the only exception being the combat knife, because it actually has a little bit of range to it. That's useful. Uh, there we go, we're gonna refill a bit. So hopefully we don't get to see it, but this over there, that's a reference to the game over screen. I don't know why they have it here, but it's there. I have no idea why. So we have a breakable wall here. Netting us the samurai armor. That's a pretty nice increase of defense and attack. New enemy, Waiter Skeleton. He's just like a regular skeleton, except he throws food. And that place is not breakable, it's just a dead end with a big heart for you. I'm gonna stop by going in here. So when it comes to going out of my way to grab certain souls, uh, I might go out of my way to grab souls that I know are necessary to get to places or necessary to, you know, get where we want, like a good ending for instance. Um, however, I'm not going to... Like during our first visit, just go all over and just kill everything hoping to get their souls. It would be helpful because then I wouldn't have to do a cleanup episode, but it's easier to do that later when your luck is a lot higher and you probably have like literally the thing you need to um, make sure that nabbing souls is quick and painless. Because early on, if you get soul after soul and it's constantly new souls, like, all over and over, you're a lucky bugger and I wish I had your luck. I'm not lucky, however, so it's gonna be super great to actually do that later when you have a stronger weapon to just one-shot most enemies. You take, like, no damage and... At the time, you probably have something to increase your luck, like, a lot, and just nab everything you need. So, before we say goodbye for for this time of the dance hall, because it's gonna be a while until we come back here. Like, never actually in the main OP, I believe. Ow. Uh, we're gonna have the bat soul for this. It's a good get off me move, but there are better ways to have a get off me move. 
I know there's a hallway like this that has a breakable area. There it is. That's probably like the only thing we're going to actively come back to because it's nothing we can get right now, so... Tough luck, sadly. So, welcome to the inner quarters. Where we have Prisophone, or Karate Maid. And we have Durgus on stairs, probably the worst place to stick him. And I thought I had Ghost. I thought I switched back to Ghost. So, using Fly Armor and Double Jump, we get a high mind up up here. And... That is not gonna help. However, this helps, because the hitbox actually hits the ground. The two student witches, none of them dropping anything. High potion, and... In here, we get a witch, and it's pretty hard to see, but yes, she is topless. And her soul is laughably useful to have, so... Please, dear, nope. This might be like the only soul I actively grind for because I want it later on. So yeah, we'd lose our attack but we gain defense for the ninja suit and I think that's something I want. And uh, let's try again on these ladies. Nope, not giving me your soul. So the witch can dash at you with the shield up. If she does that she guards every single attack you do. So, that's something that can be painful considering that she can easily swoop out of reach. Not cooperating with me here, ladies. None of you are, neither the student nor the master. Nope, no cooperation. Okay, I'm gonna try both of these rooms three more times after this. If neither of them drop their soul, then I'm just gonna move on. Alright, so now, starting now, three chances left on both. Better behave and cooperate with me here. Soul. Nope. Uh, both are sadly pretty rare, so Definitely gonna stop considering that the witch's soul is super useful for a later boss fight. Like, I dare say it's mandatory. Seriously? Alright, after this, both of you get one more chance. Hitting. 
come on. Yeah, that's not where I wanted you to go. So this is pretty interesting. Over here's the Chrono Mage. Yeah, he is a reference to Alice in Wonderland and he sends you back out. So unless we have a way to deal with that, there is no way for us to actually get there. And that chair cannot be sat in. But yeah, I think this is probably the best way for us to end it. Um, we will be continuing through the inner quarters next time. Hopefully being a lot luckier with souls. And I know this is a bit shorter than the other ones, but they're gonna vary like this. It depends on if we find a good place to stop. Like, I'm just gonna spoil something right here. This save room is right before a boss fight, and I didn't want to do the boss fight and then go back to save. I'd rather save the boss fight for next time, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. I am definitely enjoying it. And I will see you all next time. Until then, fare thee well.